Good morning, everyone. Morning. Morning. Everyone morning. says good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> we are at the Delaware Water Gap in Pennsylvania. We're uh, at the trailhead for the um, Mount Mincy hike. And everyone's uh, in a pretty good mood. We are going to hike down into town and across the river and into New Jersey. And we're going to go up to we're going to go up on the Mount Tammany and uh, do a little overnighter. So we've hiked on the other side and we've hiked over here, but we've never like connected both sections of the AT. So this will allow us to do that. Uh, first winter trip for me, it's chilly. It was uh, it's like 35 out right now. A little windy here. Uh, but yeah, it's a uh, skinny G, Smitty, and Kurt, and uh, we might have some other people join us later on. We'll see. But gonna go put on the nice heavy winter weight pack. Uh, we're sitting like right around 28 pounds for the trip, and uh, yeah, we we'll get the show on the road. So we've been on the trail for a little bit, started climbing over the, the Mount Tammany side. We are at the split. The AT goes up that way. We're going to go this way. Now, this trail takes us to the Dunfield Creek Trail, but uh, we will be able to jump on the blue trail from up here. Yeah, this isn't actually the overlook overlook. This is the view from the ridge. And you're over there at Mount Mitzi? It looks exactly like that. <laughs> so we're uh, we're on Tammany now. And it's a really nice day to be up here, really clear. But as Kurt was saying, over there is Mount Mincy. And the way that looks from here. Where we're standing looks pretty much the same from over there. Uh, it's really interesting how much uh, the two views mirror each other. We made it to Sunfish Pond. Nice little bench for viewing. Oh, it is really cold and really windy right now. You don't want to go swimming? No, I definitely don't want to go swimming. Go ahead, Smith, you jump in. Uh, sure. Alright guys, we made it to the backpacker uh, backcountry campsites up here on Mount Tammany. And uh, we made it before dark. And just look at that view. Oh man. It's awesome. There's a ton of people camping out here tonight. Um, there's a chance that we might see a meteor shower tonight. So, and it's still clear. So hopefully we'll, uh, hopefully we'll see a little bit of that. But gonna go set up camp and uh, get some food.
There's a, a nice uh, shot of our camp. And boy, is it cold out. <laughs> uh, what I was able to pick up with my phone during the night was a low of 21, but with the wind and everything, it felt like it was nine. But uh, that was for the town down below where we're at. Being up here on the mountain, on this exposed ridge, I'm sure it was colder than that. But everyone made it through the night. Everyone stayed reasonably warm. Uh, so yeah, definitely a success. All my winter stuff got its first real test. Uh, and this is all the stuff I picked up after last winter to uh, improve my winter camping. And so far, so good. The only uh, real thing I noticed that I was just mentioning to Kurt, I bought a, a hammock gear, a zero degree under quilt, and I love hammock gears quilts. They're, uh, they're great for someone that's tall like me, like they fit me great. And uh, I feel like I can take them colder than their rating. But their draft collar, they use the thin shock cord they use on their summer quilts and my draft collar area kept opening up on me because it just wasn't gripping uh, the cord lock wasn't dripping uh, gripping the shock cord the way it should so but I have some shock cord at home I'll just replace it with some heavier stuff and hopefully it'll grip better but that's it that's really the only the only real issue I have now we're just taking a quick walk, warm up a little bit. This is the view this morning. It's a bit more cloud covered than yesterday. Yesterday was really nice and clear, but this was Kurt's view. He was set up right here. He has one of the Hemlock Mountain Outdoors uh, red tails. It's his uh, new hammock model. And right over here, we have the rest of us. This, uh, this back, uh, backpacker campground, this is a bad over here. Uh, there's no fires, but they do have privies, which is really nice. A fire last night would have been nice, but at the same time, it was so windy. <laughs> it was so windy that it would have been bad to have one. And we got Skinny G. We got Skinny G right here. And that's our uh, that's our Mirror 2 tent. It's a knockoff lightweight tent. We have my Hemlock Mountain Outdoors Coyote. And for my winter setup, I add a Dutch wear, a Dutch wear gear sock, my hammock gear uh, zero degree, and tucked in here is, keeping with the blue theme, my uh, UGQ bandit, that's also a zero degree. And Smitty's over here, he is rocking Panda's Hennessy uh, with the Hennessy tarp. Um, and uh, her 20 degree uh, camera gear. But going to get some coffee, possibly hot tea, and uh, convince my hands that they're warm enough to uh, break down. We have dropped down quite a bit. We still have a little bit more ways to go. Uh, but we're, we're down out of the ridge area. So we're pretty well sheltered from the wind, which is nice. Every once in a while we'll get a gust that like blows down through. But man, today is so much different than yesterday. Uh, yesterday was sunny. 
And even though it was still on the cooler side, I think yesterday the high was only maybe 35. Uh, the sun, you know, it warms you up. It makes you feel like it's warmer out. And it wasn't really windy uh, until later on in the day yesterday. But today, all cloud cover, you can see like a hint of where the sun's supposed to be. But uh, still not a bad morning. It's right around 10 a.m. Uh, we should end up finishing our hike around 11.30. One thing about, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, one thing about the Dunfield uh, Creek Trailhead is you can only overnight park there if you get a permit ahead of time. I tried getting a permit, but I was unable to get through to the office. I kept getting a busy signal. And without being able to park there, we had to park on the PA side at the Mount Mincy uh, trailhead. The benefit to doing that is that allowed Kurt, Panda, and I to finish the AT through Pennsylvania from the Jersey border down to the Lehigh Gap. So between last year and this year, we were able to, you know, get a nice chunk of the trail done. So we'll just have to keep plugging away at that. We are back across the bridge in the water gap and we're just standing here chilling out before we have to uh, climb straight up that road back to the parking area but Kurt just happened to notice uh, someone being a little clever so that's 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 amusing I like that <laughs> well I think about that is you know I'm, I'm an electrician by trade so I, I, I definitely enjoy that, <laughs> that humor. It's definitely out of code. Uh, but yeah, we only have a little bit back to the car. Great hike. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not going to show you the boring little walk back to the car. But now, yeah, we have done this whole corner of Pennsylvania. So, good stuff. Except for me. <laughs> yeah, except for you. But we'll get them there. He's we'll, in the very we'll end. But we'll catch you guys on... The next video if you like this thumbs up subscribe come back for more see you guys later